The next example uh, reads like this. The shaft of a small turbine turns at 20,000 RPM and the blade speed is uh, 250 meter per second. The axial velocity leaving the stator is Vx2 equal to 175 meter per second. The angle at which the absolute velocity leaves the stator is alpha 2 equal to 67 degrees. And the relative velocity leaves the rotor at beta 3 equal to minus 60 degrees. And the absolute velocity leaves the rotor at alpha 3 equal to minus 20 degrees. Find the mean radius of the blade, uh, beta 2, Vx3, V2, specific power delivered by the stage and the degree of reaction. Okay. So we have to be very careful in transferring this uh, uh, the information given into a sketch. Okay. So the sketch is actually shown here. Notice that in this sketch, uh, uh, Professor Coppella has used W for relative velocity as opposed to the C uh, that we are using. So please bear this in mind when you uh, look at the diagram. So let us see. So this is the stator and um, uh, it is uh, given uh, that uh, the uh, uh, absolute velocity leaving the rotor is minus 20. Should be borne in mind that alpha 1 is equal to alpha 3. So alpha 1 is equal to minus 20 degrees. And since uh, the blade velocity direction, u is actually like this, or so reference direction uh, or axial direction is perpendicular to the blade velocity direction. So that is like this. So since alpha 1 is minus 20, that is in the clockwise direction by uh, 20 degrees from the reference direction. So this is V1 entering the stator. Now, uh, at the exit of the stator, alpha is plus 67. So that is the absolute velocity uh, leaving the stator. So the velocity diagram at exit to the stator would look like this. And this is uh, C2. And this is u, so c2 plus u equal to v2. What is that? This is the uh, blade angle of the stator at exit, beta 2. And now here we have the uh, uh, rotor. Uh, yeah, notice that this beta 2 here is actually uh, the blade angle of the rotor at entry. Okay, so the relative velocity diagram is shown like this. Notice that the blade angle of the stator at exit is alpha 2. And beta 2 here is the blade angle at entry to the uh, rotor. Uh, and it is also given that Vx2 is 175 meter per second. So Vx2 uh, would be this value, this segment. If you extend this, then this would be Vx2. Vx2 is given as 175 meter per second. Now, at the exit of the rotor, the blade angle is given to be minus uh, 60 degrees and the flow angle is given to be minus 20 degrees. So once again, this is our reference direction. So the blade angle of minus 60 degrees, uh, C3, looks like this. And the blade angle minus 20 degree looks like this. And the velocity diagram at exit is V3 equal to C3 plus U. The, uh, it may also be noted that u1 is equal to u2 equal to uh, u3. So uh, with the help of this uh, velocity triangles and using appropriate trigonometric relations, we can now proceed with the calculation. Okay? Uh, the students must actually uh, review this part of this uh, worked example a uh, few times to convince themselves and to understand properly how the given information in terms of uh, the rotor and uh, stator blade angles uh, is transformed or uh, is transformed into uh, velocity triangle information like this. Okay. So the mean rotor radius is nothing but the blade speed divided by the angular speed of the rotor. So that is 250 meter per second divided by 2 pi n over 60, which gives the mean radius to be 11.94 centimeters. Okay. At the uh, rotor inlet, V theta 2 uh, is nothing but Vx2 times tan alpha 2. So rho V theta 2 may be calculated as 412.4 meter per second. So uh, V theta 2, which is this segment here, is nothing but Vx2 times tan alpha 2. So that is 412.4 and C theta 2, which is uh, this segment here, is nothing but V theta 2 minus U. Okay, so C theta t. So the uh, blade angle of the rotor at inlet beta 2 is arc tangent of C theta 2 over Cx2 and that is 42.8 degrees. 
and as we know from here this is in the counter clockwise direction so this is uh, this is positive at the rotor outlet which is here v uh, theta 3 notice that this is v3 to c theta 3 so c theta 3 would be this entire segment so c theta 3 minus u would be equal to v theta, uh, theta 3 so v theta 3 equal to c theta 3 minus u and v3 theta 3 is nothing but vx3 times uh, tan alpha 3 c theta 3 is cx3 times tan beta 3 Uh, eliminate uh, uh, or rewrite this expression. Notice that c x three is equal to v x three. So if I rewrite this, then I get v x three to be u over tan uh, beta three minus tan alpha three, and this gives me v x three to be equal to one hundred. So once I know v x three, I can now go back and calculate v theta three as uh, v x three times tan alpha three. Which gives me 66.5 meter per second for this, and using Pythagoras theorem, I can calculate the absolute velocity at exit V3 equal to 194.4 meter per second. Uh, the specific work may be evaluated from oil turbine equation like this: two times V theta. That uh, in this case. Uh, v theta two, which is this, is uh, pointing in this direction, and v theta three, which is this, is pointing in this direction or the opposite directions. Uh, opposite direction. That means there is going to be a change in uh, sign here. Uh, so the specific work then comes out to be one one nine point seven kilojoule per kilogram. Um, using the values for the relative velocity that we have calculated above, I can calculate C two and C three using Pythagoras theorem like this. Uh, so these two values may be easily evaluated.